Chris Denny, pastor at Westminster Presbyterian Church in Columbia, South Carolina. And in this video, I'd like to share with you about praying with our bodies. The first way we can explore praying with our bodies is just simply by breathing. So take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in the mercies of God and breathe out the mercies of God to others. Just simply by breathing, we can pray. We could pray with a phrase as we breathe in. We could pray a phrase to God like, Lord, when I am anxious, and breathe out saying, help me be calm. So breathe in, Lord, when I am anxious, and breathe out, help me be calm. Lots of different breath prayers we could do, different phrases from Scripture that you could try. So breathing, just simply our breath as a prayer. Or we can breathe moving. We can pray moving, I should say. So if you'll move with me, we can begin by standing our feet shoulder width apart and just rock from side to side, finding that balance point where you feel your weight equally distributed on your feet. I like to wiggle my toes, remembering that I am made of the good earth of God's creation. And then we can lift one hand up to heaven and another hand up to heaven, remembering as high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are God's thoughts above our thoughts. And when you're ready, let your arms come down to your side. And then we can reach one arm out to one side and one arm out to the other side and pray for those who come close to us today, our friends, our family, those within our embrace. And we can pull our hands back and stretch just a little bit across our chest and pray for those that we will meet today. further back and feel more of a stretch across our chest and pray for those that it's hard to love today. When you're ready, you can let your arms hang by your side. And then one vertebra at a time, we can bend over at the waist until we're like a table and reach out our hands and receive the gift that God has to give us. When you're ready, you can let your hands just hang from your side. And let the worries and the anxieties of today just drip from your fingertips. When you're ready, we can stand up one vertebra at a time. And then again, reach one hand up to heaven and reach another hand up to heaven and give thanks to God for this day. When you're ready, you can bring your arms down to your side. Amen. Praying with our bodies, moving as we pray. Sometimes when we pray, we hold our hands in certain ways, like this. We pray with our hands together. I think our parents teach us to do that so we won't bother our neighbors or our siblings. Sometimes when we pray, we bow our heads, we kneel before God. Sometimes when we pray, we may lay completely flat on the ground, humble, submitting to God. Sometimes when we pray, we can stand with our arms out. This is called the vessel. You see the shape I make it looks like a cup where God and the Holy Spirit can fill me up. I challenge you to try different ways of holding your hands, even simply opening your hands when we pray and worship. When you pray at home, at, at the table, wherever you pray, try opening your hands like you're receiving a gift from God. Lots of different ways to pray. Sometimes we close our eyes. Sometimes we open our eyes. Here I am standing outside in the courtyard of my church, 
and there are so many things to see. Sometimes it's important to open our eyes as we pray and see what God has to reveal to us. Let me show you another way to pray, another way to use our bodies when we pray. I bet you know the words to this prayer. I'm going to use the Lord's Prayer, but this time add some motions. It's not sign language, but just some motions to the Lord's Prayer. So I'll talk you through the motions, then we'll add the words. So we'll start out with one hand to heaven, and another hand to heaven, and then we'll bring down praying hands. And then we'll start with another arm out and an arm out and point to earth as it is in heaven. And then grab an imaginary loaf of bread and break it in half. And then we'll wash our hands. And then we'll make a stop sign and then grab an imaginary doorknob and open it. And then make a crown on your head, strong arm. Both hands to heaven, and then praying hands. This time I'll add the words, okay? So one arm up, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. One arm out, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Grab that loaf of bread. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Stop, son. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Another way of praying with our bodies, the Lord's Prayer, this time with motions. Maybe we'll do that in worship together. Another way to pray with our bodies is simply when we exercise. When you walk, when you run, when you do sit-ups or push-ups, you can join in God in prayer as we move. Uh, do, jumping rope or whatever your sport is, whatever you do, whatever, however you move, just include a conversation with God because that's really all prayer is. Is talking to God. When I go for my morning walk, I listen to a podcast called uh, Pray As You Go. That's one way that I pray. Lots of different ways. Perhaps you have walked a labyrinth before. There's a labyrinth at a church nearby, and I like to go. It's a, it's a path, not a maze, not where I'll get lost, but it's a path that takes me on a journey, and I walk that, and I pray. Lots of different ways to pray with our bodies. So I challenge you, I encourage you to try praying with your bodies, maybe with open hands, maybe the Lord's Prayer. Try something new. Use your body, this gift that God gave you. Mm -hmm.